can you tell us a little bit about what eRequester does for Sage Software business partners and customers? What are you offering today? Well, you know, what eRequester is is like a friendly requisition front end for all of those Sage products you just mentioned. It allows users to create a requisition stage using just the web, create approvals and workflow, do requests for quotes, and ultimately create a PO inside of the accounting system without actually going inside of the accounting system. That's sort of the exciting part. So you can distribute those POs among all kinds of departments outside of Mass90. And right. It can go through their approval process. Right. And then does it come back into Mass90 at some yeah, point? Yeah, it sure does. In fact, it comes back into Mass90, it comes back into Mass500 or ACPAC or PFW. Any of those are all accounting systems we integrate with, which means eRequester represents sort of, like I say, a friendly front end for those systems. It allows users to tap data from ACPAC or from Mass90 without going inside of the database per se using the eRequester interface, create whatever stages of approval they need, get that PO and create the PO right inside of Mass90 or 200. Ah, oh, great. Yeah, very exciting for a lot of folks who don't want to necessarily give a bunch of folks licenses just for the purpose of creating requisitions. Is there any in particular industry that uh, eRequester works with better than others? Is there a, a niche market? Well, as far as Mass90 customers, ACPAC customers, Sage customers in general? Well, you know, anybody who buys stuff and needs approval can use eRequester, but there are ideal scenarios. The most ideal maybe is a scenario in which you have a central location and you'd love to get approvals and everybody's sort of buying as they go uh, from the disparate locations and we want to get central approval and maybe even still at the end of that rainbow allow them to still create their PO and send it out to the vendor. Those are the kind of scenarios that are really maybe the sweet spot for your requester. But anybody who buys stuff can and needs approval can use your requester. Pretty easy to show a return on investment I, I would imagine. Yes, it's a lot of labor to do things manually, you know, running things around, getting things lost, wondering where stuff is. So visibility and the return on investment are both like great features in your requester and pretty easily quantifiable with a little bit of numbers based on what kind of uh, work you do right now. Did I hear you right when you said that you did not need a Mass90 user's license to access eRequester? Yes, that's correct. You do not need a Mass90 user license to use eRequester. In fact, that's really one of the key elements of eRequester's advantage is the ability to tap all that Mass90 data and even create a PO, even uh, see all that data without having to go inside of Mass90 and without having to add additional Mass90 licenses. That is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Well, Jeff, thank you so much for spending time with us today and 